Hey, what's going on folks? This is Hellbent and I'm back again today with another update with the auto object uh, scripting tool. Uh, so I'll go ahead and run it and show you the changes that have been made to it. Um, so as you can see, if you've seen the other versions, uh, I've made it a little bit bigger. Um, to compensate for that, what I've also done is made it so that way if you right click anywhere outside of the edit boxes, so as long as you're not inside one of the edit boxes, uh, if you right click on it, it'll shrink it down to a little tab and then you can place the tab wherever you want. So, you know, maybe you can make a, a fake uh, tool button or you can place it wherever uh, you need it's convenient and it's very unobtrusive so even if it's in the middle of my screen it's not really a problem and then I can just right click on that again and that'll switch it back to the full view um, another thing that I've done now because of that uh, because I've increased the size the transparency option doesn't make much sense anymore because it's just too big to really do anything with that um, but I decided to leave it in anyways but uh, it's not going to be as effective as it was before uh, the other thing I've done the main thing I've done is made it so now um, you can turn on the ability to auto clip um, so let me go ahead and create I'm gonna create an array with strings and I'm gonna set the spacing to double spacing and I'm gonna turn on the auto clip uh, ability and then I'm just going to shrink this down and now what I can do actually you know what I'll bring this up so that way you can actually see it I'll put it over here so now what I can do is <clears throat> if I'm trying to grab things uh, perhaps from my screen perhaps I'm trying to create a list of things that I already have or from some other page some other source all I have to do now is I can just um, let me make sure that's in view okay I can just go over this and put it in my clipboard and it'll get added in and then it's automatically going to space it depending on the delimiter that I use uh, so right now I am using the double space so it's automatically going to go into the next um, element and then I can just add another one another one etc so on and so forth um, because it's automatically adding the other the, going into the next element when you're done all you have to do is just go to the end of your list backspace whatever however many spaces you have it set and then that'll close it off and then of course you can just uh, give it a name if you want and put it in your clipboard and add it into your script and I think I think that was pretty much it. Um, one thing to, to note is try definitely try not to uh, add your own line breaks in here. Um, it'll mess things up a little bit. It's it's easy to fix it, but it's automatically going to uh, do its own line break. That's one of the reasons why I actually I expanded it out to three lines now. Uh, so it shows three rows. So as soon as it gets to the end, it's going to drop down to the next one. I had created a couple of really long lists, and having it all on just one line, it was starting to become a pain because everything would go off to the side, and I'd have to scroll over and everything. Um, what, one thing I might do, if I have something else that I want to add to this later, one thing I might do is have a add a button or something like that that'll wipe it. But uh, it's not a, it's not a big deal to clear this out. All I have to do is just you know bam and it's it's cleared out <clears throat> but uh, there's that issue with the, the line break anyways that's it for this update uh, I hope you enjoy uh, if you have any suggestions things that you'd like to see added um, let me know um, I've been using this now since I created it and uh, with the new updates it's been a an amazing thing to have uh, especially if you're lazy like me um, anyways see you guys on the next one